welcome to part two of the video series from Volunteer Mark for all you nonprofit neighbors out there. You'll remember from our first video, this is all about the biggest challenge that you want to overcome in 2015. I am wearing an obnoxious sweater in honor of your requests and this hat as well to get us all in the holiday spirit. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get started here today. As you'll remember, our overall topic is this idea of the power of partnerships. Because when we asked you what kind of video you wanted us to make, you said, hey, our biggest challenge in 2015 is getting the right people into our organization to fulfill the right challenges and to keep them there throughout the, the year. So that's the biggest challenge. So that's what we're going to help you do. So I think that that comes largely by creating good partnerships with a lot of different organizations. The small piece of partnerships we're going to bite off today is the idea of how you can partner with AmeriCorps. So whoa, 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 what? AmeriCorps? What's that? Oh, right. So I should explain that. Thanks, Andrew. Well, AmeriCorps, um, and now I'm actually an alum of this organization, so I can, I can definitely talk about it. A lot of us might have heard about it, but let me just break it down real quick. AmeriCorps is basically a group of 18 to 25-year-olds. They're all over the country, and they are volunteers for a year with one particular entity. I shouldn't say they're totally volunteers. They're paid a stipend, and they get a scholarship for doing a year of service with a nonprofit organization. Now, the nonprofits that they work with, that's kind of an, a long-term process, and, and you have to create a partnership, and that's definitely one kind of partnership, but that's a little bit more formalized. So what I actually want to talk about today is how you would partner with AmeriCorps alums in your area. So, okay. Is, yeah, that sounds great, but now I'm interested. How, how do you make that partnership happen? Why don't you should ask, Andrew, because I'm here today with answers to that question. <laughs> so, okay, let's talk through that. Well, so the first thing that you'll want to do is familiarize yourself with what's going on with AmeriCorps in your area. So the easiest way that, that I've found to do that is AmeriCorps has a website. You would think that it's AmeriCorps.org. It actually isn't. It's kind of long. So just go ahead and search for AmeriCorps, and then it'll take you right to that website. But once you're there, you can search in your area and see what kinds of AmeriCorps programs are going on. Once you find the AmeriCorps programs, you want to go to them and then start having a conversation with them, specifically if you can find an alumni coordinator in that program. They can talk to you about how many alumni they have in the area, what those alums are doing, that kind of thing. Um, so that can be a really, really great way to get plugged in with AmeriCorps in your area. Okay, great. So it sounds like it's not a formal application or anything. I mean, you're just basically having a cup of coffee and talking to them. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's an informal relationship. But the bottom line here, and this is why I think it's, it's, it's such a strong partnership. AmeriCorps, bear in mind, these, these cats spent a year volunteering, getting, getting immersed in this idea of civic engagement and, and community involvement. So they're really well teed up. I mean, for those of us who have, have done volunteer coordination, you'll know a lot of times you might have someone who comes in and they've just never volunteered before, which is okay, but you know, they're starting here. Well, AmeriCorps members are always gonna be right here. They're gonna have that foundation of volunteerism built in. So that's what I think makes for a great partnership. But yeah, it's, it's pretty informal. So another thing that's really important that I think you should do so you've linked up with the AmeriCorps chapters in your area. Now, you should go onto Facebook and LinkedIn and search for different AmeriCorps groups. And this is a key point, too, because if you have some opportunities that could be virtual, well, then you can link up with any AmeriCorps alum across the country. And by the way, there are about 800,000 AmeriCorps alums out and about nowadays. So this is a huge number. This is a huge potential for partnership. And I think those Facebook and LinkedIn groups are a great way to do it because we're really active. I'm active in a lot of them as an alum. And we are really attentive to those communities. So going out there and, and seeking out those, those alums in those areas is a great way to do it. Okay, so that sounds really great. Uh, I know who I'm going to approach, but how do I really know that I can get the specific skills that I'm looking for in my organization? How would I go about um, making sure that I'm getting you know, the right volunteers for the specific needs that I have at my organization? Yeah, Great question, Andrew. And this was actually, it's funny you mentioned this because this was a question that John from Florida had asked us when we put up a call for topics on the video and challenges you were facing. This is something that, that John was facing is finding people to fill certain skills that he needed fulfilled at his nonprofit. And that's a great point. Here's what I think you should do with that. And this ties back also, by the way, to our first video on businesses. At the end of the day, think about the skills that you need, the roles that you need filled. For example, maybe it's accounting. Break down a list of you know, what does that look like? 
four, five, ten things, whatever it is, that the, the skills that you would need filled. Get that list. Get a really good idea of what that looks like. And then put that out there to your channels. Don't be afraid of spreading the word about that, sharing that. Put it on your website. Say, hey, this is the need we have. And then go out and if you've developed these partnerships, by the way, and started talking to some of these Facebook pages, these LinkedIn groups of AmeriCorps alums, talk about it there. If you've created a partnership with a business, go to them and, and give them that list and say, these are the skills we need filled. Who do you have who can do this? Another thing you can try that's really important, uh, we at Volunteer Mark on our blog and podcast, we talk a lot about a lot of different tools that you can use to find skills-based volunteers. One that we really love is Catchify. It's specifically designed for that. It's just catchafire.com, all one word, but it's specifically designed to find skills-based volunteers. And again, if you're, if you're able to come up with virtual opportunities, you can find these volunteers anywhere around the world. So that's a really good one. Uh, LinkedIn for good is another great one that you can, again, find those skills-based volunteers. And, and if you're already in some of those LinkedIn groups anyway, that's a pretty easy, easy step. Now, the last piece, right here at Volunteer Mark, all the volunteers that come into our network and, and into our system talk about the different kinds of roles they would want to fill. And nonprofits who are using Volunteer Mark can then reverse that and say, hey, we need volunteers that are skilled in this area. And then bam, Volunteer Mark shows you all the volunteers that are skilled in that area and coincidentally in your area or willing to do a virtual volunteer connection. The last thing to bear in mind is that many colleges and universities will have kind of miniature AmeriCorps programs that they offer to their students. And so one of the big first steps, and, and this is a partnership I'd recommend for anyone, by the way, just go to the universities and plug in to find volunteers there. But specifically, a lot of colleges and universities will have kind of miniature AmeriCorps programs where their students are involved in these programs and they're actually required to do certain amounts of volunteering at certain types of organizations. So that can be another great partnership to, to build. And the best way to do that is to find the person at the university. They're usually going to be something in like a community service office or a civic engagement center. Universities will always have something like that, almost always have something like that. Find the person in charge of that, link up with them, and build a strong and solid partnership. And that's the way that you can get volunteers that will be in it for the long haul. All right, that sounds great. Thank you so much for your wisdom again today, Josh. And before we tune out, I just gotta, gotta see what happens when I do this. Nothing. Well, nothing, apparently. I guess we ran the batteries out. There it is. <laughs> All right, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>